Ain't this place just gorgeous? And this is a good start today for your tour of the Valley Lines. I'm Simon Trains and you join me in the Forest Farm Country Park, right next door to the River Taff. The reason about the River Taff is because north of Radia Station is Radia Weir, which is a lovely waterfall when you pass it on the train, because the railway line actually runs next to the River Taff here. And it's just some beautiful, stunning scenery in this area. And ever since seeing this area, I wanted to come here in person. And if I had a bucket list, tick. But today's journey is on the city line between Radia and Cardiff Central. And the funny thing about this line is, this line opened as a freight O line until 1978, when it became a passenger line. So we're going to be visiting all the railway stations along that route. As much as I'd love to stay here and enjoy the view, I've got a train to catch. There we go. So Radia Station is just over there. I just got to go over this uh, bridge over the River Taff. But before I do, I actually just want to show you this map here pretty quickly. Because Radia Station is just there. Half an hour away from Radia, is Corrington Station. And I'll be honest with you, I did actually walk it from Corrington to, to Radia. So I'm now at Radia Railway Station, behind me is Platform 3. And when Radia was opened in June 1883 as Pedarf Junction, it only had two platforms. In 1987, they started running services on the city line by Danes Court and going there shortly anyway. But when they started running services on the freight O line for passenger trains, it was a very congestive area and here was a really bad bottleneck. Like trains had to wait for services to depart here by a Danes Court to Cardiff Central. It wasn't until 1998 when they sorted that issue with a third platform. This is the 1432 to Cardiff Central and we're going to be boarding this to head to our first station, Danes Court. So let's jump on and let's go down the city line. This is our first station and you're going to be hearing this quite a lot in this video today. This station was opened in 1987 by British Rail. Tell you what, getting down to Danes Court Station there's this nice long ramp down here. And it's really a long one because the road is just up there. Is it me? Or this style of footbridge I've seen before in Scotland, in some places, especially like on the East Coast May Line. I'm not too sure, but it just looks like that feel of um, an 80s footbridge. I think Bromsgrove, the old platform, used to have a footbridge like that as well. So I'm now waiting for the 5004 Transport for Wales service to Corrington. Yes, Corrington. In fact, back in the day, I think before the pandemic, there used to be services all day from Corrington to Radia by Cardiff Central. During off peak, I think they only go as far as Cardiff Central, but during the morning peak, there are actually some Radia to Corrington services. The next train to arrive at Platform 1 is the 1504 service to Carleton. This service is currently on time. 
call it at Fairwater, Winegrunt Park, Lillian Park, Cardiff Central, Cardiff Queen Street, East Low Level, Tea Glass, Birch Grove. When I got off this station, first of all, I noticed that the train had to wait here for five minutes on the timetable. Secondly, there was a load of school kids and college students using this station as well, because the train was full of them as it left this station right here. This is Fairwater Station. And yes, guess what? It opened in 1987 by British Rail. Now, Fairwater Station does have ticket machines, but unfortunately they are bandled, being vandalised, and that is not okay to vandalise ticket machines. For what? For fun? It's, no. It's... So I'm now waiting for the 1540 Transport for Wales service to Cardiff Central, which will be 150 235. Now, I didn't list all the stations at the start because this next station actually has a funny name. One Guan Park. Why did they call it that? I have heard some ridiculous names in my time, but Wong Guan Park is another ridiculous name. And this is the station right here. I've heard of stations like Acox Green, I've heard of Cliverow. Wong Guan Park is just one of the stupidest names ever heard for a railway station. But about the station though, it was built in 1987 by British Rail. And it has two platforms, but they are a bit staggered here. So I'm just on the station ramp about to leave the station, but I'm not going to leave the station. But there's something that's called my eye that I want to show you on camera. And it's just over here. What the hell is that? It looks like there's some loading ramps as if they used to be a building here. They were loading stuff onto lorries here. That's what I'm guessing, but I don't really know what it is. So I want to put it on here just to show you if you do or know what it is. Just looking for the railway station, Wong Guan Park is a nice little suburban area to be honest with you. But I'm waiting for the 1612 Transport for Wales service to take me to Nillian Park, which will be the last station before I get to Cardiff Central. Turbo Star. I'll show you in a second why. Because when I looked at this station for the first time, it makes me wonder why I've not been to this station before. But this is Lillian Park. Now, did Lillian Park open in 1987? No. This station opened on the 2nd of November 1912 by the Great Western Railway. It was rebuilt in 1933, but they closed it to passengers in 1939 but kept the station open. I'll tell you why in a second. 
because there was some kind of excursion traffic that stopped here. However though, on the 5th of October 1987, they did reopen this station. So I said you could hear a turbo star from here because down the bottom here is Cardiff Canton Depot and you can see some of the units that are stabled over at Cardiff Canton Depot. Also in day one I said it's actually not the closest station to Cardiff City Football Club. That there was a station closer to Cardiff City Football Club because Cardiff City Football Club is just there. Nidia Park was excursion traffic for Cardiff City Football Club. You'll see this as we leave Nidia Park to head towards Cardiff Central. But down the bottom there is actually a junction. The line on the left takes you by a Cardiff Canton to Cardiff Central Station. Now the line on the right is a freight only line that connects onto Grangetown. And then Grangetown towards Penarth. Because when this line was opened as a freight only line in 1859, it actually took freight trains to Penarth docks from Radia. So I'm now waiting for the last train to take me to Cardiff Central. The 1646 Transport for Well Service which will terminate at Cardiff Central. Should be pulling in now to take us to Cardiff Central. Looks like we're chasing a local hall train to Cardiff Central Station. From Noble 7 with regular Mark 4 coaches. Nice to see that for a change down here. Hear that class 67 diesel locomotive purring in the background. Don't go anywhere because the last shot will be that leaving Cardiff Central Station. But we're going to talk about the journey along the city branch that I took today from Radia to Cardiff Central. And all the stations I visited are actually very interesting locations. Radia, Danes Court, Fairwater, Wangrom Park, which I don't know why they called it that, and Lydian Park. And honestly, it has really been a lovely ride along a form of freight only line which got converted to passenger deuce in late 1980s. And it would be nice to see more freight only lines revived as passenger workings. Like honestly, my local line, the Chase Line, used to be a freight only line until 1989 when they brought it back for passenger use. And it would be lovely to see like the Kumbar Goat branch as a passenger line again. But it just means more stations to fill. And there's a lovely 56 just passing through now, which is this. Anyway, so travelling on that line has really been successful, really been enjoyable. Do recommend doing it. And also recommend you visit Radia Mia, that waterfall at the start of the video. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below. And as promised, let's get that leaving Cardiff Central Station. Thanks for watching.